A decision by the Soledad City Council back in October pitted many voters against the council when it decided to switch from at-large elections to district-wide elections. But the plan called for the council, not voters, deciding who the next mayor would be. And the plan soon backfired. Just seeing how politics are going in this little town of Soledad is very disappointing. It wouldn't be long before a group gathered enough signatures to qualify a referendum for the ballot, forcing the council to rescind its decision to go to district-wide elections or put it before the voters. You know, 10% of them have spoken, and I think they should be listened to. And I think whatever you need to do to, to resolve uh, the disagreements is to do something, you know, either or. But the council hasn't always seen eye to eye. A meeting on the same issue Wednesday went until 11 at night with no decision made. Friday, the public told the council it was time to put their differences aside. It is not good that you guys are being selfish. It is not good that you guys are being stubborn. It is not good yet that you guys are not listening to the voters in the city of Soledad. At the 11th hour, the council finally saw the writing on the wall, meeting a Friday deadline during a special meeting to put the referendum on the March primary and let the voters decide how they want city leaders elected. The vote was unanimous. And now we're going to put it before all the full voters, 8,400, and weigh in. And if they want to change the districting, then we change it. If they want us to, they want to elect the mayor, then we elect it. So. We're going by what the voters have to say. The stakes were high today to make a decision by putting the issue before the voters on the March primary. It'll cost the city as much as $84,000 compared to more than $200,000 of a special election had to be held. So again, Soledad voters will decide in March whether they want to go to district-wide elections or continue with at-large elections. Reporting from Soledad, I'm Felix Cortez, KSBW, Action News 8. Thank you.